Hi everyone and welcome! Welcome back to my channel! If it's your first time here, my name is Kostis. If it's not, welcome back! It's the 13th of December and we have a second song! Second official song for Eurovision 2024! And it's 2023! <laughs> That's crazy. Excuse my morning face, I just woke up. But uh, Czechia. Czechia decided now in the morning. They announced who their representative is. And it's Aiko. I have previously reacted to the national final of Czechia. And Aiko was one of my two choices. The other one was Mitty. And I'm so happy. And if you don't believe me, roll the tapes. Aiko is a vibe. I don't know if I told you, but I like Aiko. So yeah, when I reacted to Czechia's national final, I was impressed with Aiko's performance. And um, then I watched other YouTubers react to it. And uh, they were not like so hyped with Aiko because she wasn't perfect vocally. And I was like, maybe, maybe I didn't notice something very well. Maybe, maybe something I don't know, like I started doubting myself for my taste and for my views on performance, you know? But here we are, and so many people had the same opinion with me. So in this video, I am going to react to the music video from Pedestal. Why? Because the national final was a live performance in a club transmitted from YouTube Live. So I actually want to listen to the production how it is and I want to see the music video because from the music video you can tell what the view of the artist is about the song and then you know you can tell their aesthetics more although I think Aiko did a great job on stage and she showed her aesthetics and her performance but now I want to see the music video if you want to see my reaction to the live performance I will have the link down in the description of when I reacted to the national final. Aiko and Pedestal, directed by Hon Honia Tran. It's a cool song, it's a cool beat, you know, from the get-go, you come in with a beat and um, her voice, she has, she has a very distinctive voice, you know, I like that. You see, and she also has, like even in the music video, she's performing, like she has um, something about her presence. Her presence is very... she's making sure you notice her presence, you know? She's not someone that you would walk by on the street and you wouldn't notice. And I love this phrase that put myself on a pedestal and I could did that. She put herself on a pedestal and she won. She won. And other people put her too. And uh, the song is building as well, you know, like it's it's going stronger and stronger, which is a good thing, although it comes in quite strong from the get-go. It does evolve. I love that. Uh, for a or any proof. Oof. <laughs> That's so funny. And I love the music video. It's very indie. It's very on brand. I love. I want you to stay like that. I don't want you to go like. Let's go full on production, uh, American, 
so I don't know, like, so it's not that. I love, I love your vibe, your vibe, your aesthetics, like, and uh, she also said that she was living in Brighton, and I think she lives in London now, I, I don't know, and she's from Czechia, and she's the perfect combination of these two music influences, like, you can, you can tell that she has all of these influences. She's, she's, she's a great artist, and, think, and I think she has a very bright future in front of her as well. And I'm happy that she was given the opportunity to go to Eurovision. <laughs> and I love this, I love this little nuances, I don't know how to call them, that she does, like the oof, the ah! It, it shows your character, and we want to see that. We want that in Eurovision. We want um, a person who is animated, you know? Like, she will she will stand out from a big lineup of songs, I believe. I know she, she didn't do everything of these things perfectly on the night of the national final, but I'm sure she will work on them, because she has... She, she, she has the technique, you know? Like, okay, she had a night that wasn't perfect. Who cares? <laughs> yes. Okay, so we have two songs right now. We have Sliman with Mon Amour and we have Aiko with Pedestal. And I think we're off to a very promising start for Eurovision 2024. They're so different songs, but they are good songs, you know, and uh, uh, it's good that they are different. We want, we want like an interesting mix of Eurovision. We don't want a lineup full of the same kind of songs. And uh, we have, they are both very individual artists and we love that because in Eurovision, at least I'm going to speak for myself, I like to fall in love with an artist as well. And I think Aiko is an artist that uh, people can fall in love and uh, with the meaning of your song as well, like putting yourself on a pedestal. It's something that we all should do. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I know no one was expecting that. Even myself, I thought MIDI would go and I would be very happy with MIDI as well. These were my two favorites from the night. But I'm very happy with Aiko as well. What about you? Are you happy that Aiko was chosen for Czechia? Uh, or did you have someone else's favorite? But even if you did have someone else, don't you believe that Aiko is a good choice? Because I, I do so. I do so. And we saw how she can perform. And I... And again, don't tell me that she lost some notes, that's fine. She will find them on the night of Eurovision. She has time to rehearse for them. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel, follow me on all of the social media at Kostis underscore ESC and see you very soon at another video. Bye!